Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another short video to explain uh, David Hardenberg uh, concept in robotics. We try to use uh, short animation videos so that uh, it is more understandable to all of you. So without further ado, let's go into DH explanation. Okay, let's say we have a two arbitrary frame. As you can see, uh, we use the right hand rule to assign the axis. Okay, so uh, as I have mentioned in my earlier lecture, how to assign the z axis, x axis, and y you can find using the right hand rule. So, the, for uh, a recap, z axis will be assigned uh, along the axis of rotation of the joint or along the um, axis of translation for prismatic joint and x-axis will be assigned based on the common normal concept so uh, first x-axis can be assigned uh, with your freedom but the second x-axis as you can see it is basically the which should be the common normal on to the two z-axis now as you can see here uh, this one uh, you can uh, see this is z this is x and this is y but here uh, this z is a little bit um, twisted uh, about the x-axis uh, so which we will see later on and for David Hardenberg we usually do not consider the y-axis so let's say um, first if you have to bring this um, frame of reference same as this frame of reference first thing you have to do you have to rotate the, an angle theta which is uh, 90 degree for this case so that this x comes uh, parallel to this x xi minus 1 becomes parallel to xi so what we have to do is basically we rotate about the zi minus 1 axis and then it becomes parallel to xi axis and the next thing is you can see this uh, xi minus 1 and xi are shifted along zi minus 1 so we have to bring it up so the shift is d and we can move it up so this is now they are on the same level and the final one uh, and the uh, next one you can see there is another shift between the zi minus 1 and zi along xi now it is now along xi because xi and xi minus 1 are coinciding with each other so if you do so then we will have this a we have to shift it by a here so now you can see they are uh, almost uh, aligned with each other the two frame of reference except the twist angle so you can see there is a twist here and if you do this rotation of alpha then it will be aligned with z and y this z and y will also be Align. So this is how you can get all uh, the transformation uh, sequentially and because this is with respect to its own frame of reference that means the moving frame of reference so the multiplication should follow the post multiplication concept so if you do this which we will show you in the next slide so your total transformation is consists of the four individual transformation first is basically rotation about the z i minus 1 theta and then followed by the translation about uh, along z i minus 1 and then basically second translation along x i and the second rotation about x i and then if you do all this multiplication then you will end up with getting this uh, the transformation matrix between the two adjacent joint of any robotics system Hope this clarifies the David Hardenberg concept. If you have any question feel free to contact me. Thank you very much Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh